years ago. I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. All these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, you know, if they were going to show Captain Marvel at all because she was conspicuously absent throughout most of this trailer, but they saved her until the end. The Captain Marvel tease. And she's like, what is she, staring Thor down? It's going to be a battle of the toughies. How interesting. I mean, that's what was going on in that scene, right? I couldn't tell. Um... Is she going to be combative with Thor? Is it going to be a battle of who's the most powerful? Thor or Captain Marvel? That'll be interesting. Iron Man's really powerful too, but he needs his suit. But Thor doesn't need a suit. He just needs himself. And his hammer. And they're both, both Captain Marvel and Thor are cosmic level people. So, I don't know. Maybe they will kind of be like, have a rivalry about who's the most powerful Avenger. How interesting. That's cool. I like that. I definitely like that idea. Let's do it. Um, but for the most part, this trailer was focusing on the original Avengers, um, and it's kind of like, you know, I don't know, what's it's playing on nostalgia, it's almost like a high school reunion, that's a weird way to phrase this, but, you know, like, and they play, like, the Avengers music, you know, going throughout the whole trailer from the first movie, like, the most famous, like, MCU soundtrack song, right, like, one of the things, people love the MCU, one of the things I think it gets criticized for is a lot of its scores aren't really that memorable, but that's the most memorable song, the one that they played in here, and I think that's the main Avengers theme song, and it's harkening back to the first Avengers movie that kind of sort of started it all, well, sort of started it, really Iron Man started it, but they didn't get together, all of them, until the Avengers, and we just saw most of, pretty much the original, like, five Avengers throughout this entire trailer, right, including Hawkeye, who was really, like, noticeably absent in Infinity War, he's here. So I think this movie is going to focus heavily on the original five or six Avengers, as it should. Although we didn't really see the Hulk, did we? I wonder if they're saving the Hulk for something else, because there'll probably be one more trailer or two before we get to Endgame. Maybe. Maybe there'll be a Hulk-focused one. And speaking of Hawkeye, they showed him, you know, Jeremy Renner is like more of his Ronin outfit. And he was training like his daughter, right? So is that going to be the next Hawkeye in training? There's rumors that there's going to be a Young Avengers and the girl that he was showing was, she had dark hair. I assume it was his daughter, because he had a daughter in, like, Ultron, right? But she had dark hair, and the new younger Hawkeye, the, the, the female Hawkeye in Marvel Comics in Young Avengers, she has dark hair, right? So it's the same person. Kate Bishop. I do not read Marvel Comics, so I don't know. But Kate Bishop is not Hawkeye's daughter, is she? Oops, sorry. So maybe they're just, 
they're changing stuff to fit the cinematic universe they've set up. But it was nice. They cycled through like all the original five and their earlier movies into today and things that happened. And um, they started with Iron Man. And it's fitting because Iron Man was the first. And Robert Downey Jr., I think, he's a, they're all good actors. But Robert Downey Jr., as Tony Stark, I think, has done the most dramatic kind of acting. Like, he's the one who does the most crying, the most yelling. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. has really stretched his acting muscles throughout the MCU, in my opinion. So he's earned his status as one of the major Avengers. And, you know, there's rumors that he might be retiring from the MCU. They might, they might kill off Tony Stark in the endgame. I have no idea. I think... I like Tony Stark and Iron Man, but I think it'd be good from a dramatic perspective. It'd be, it would give this movie emotional resonance, and there'd be a lot of people crying, but it would be good to do it, I think, in that way. It would make this movie seem more serious and epic than if nobody winds up dying. That's just, but I don't hate Iron Man. Don't take it that way. <laughs> but, you know, and it would be important. It would be a death that means something, because it'd be 10 years of build-up, and people like Tony Stark and Robert Downey Jr. and Iron Man. Um... So that was cool. And then Captain America, I think they have a voiceover from the old um, Peggy when she was dying, said, you know, the past has changed or you can't, the world has changed, something like that. Um, and I think that metaphorically, that means the MCU's changed, you know, in 10 or 11 years from the beginning. We have all these new people. Some people, the original ones may be retiring. Um, so, you know, I thought that, and they used him to do that, to say that, because Captain America, you know, is the time lost Avenger from the past, who's in the present. Um, they focused on, you know, the Hawkeye, Black Widow friendship, and Black Widow has, like, this weird hair dye thing going on. Like, she's red at the top, but blonde at the bottom. I don't know why she has blonde hair to begin with. I guess she was going undercover when they were on the run after Civil War, and she's still in that guise. Because I don't know what's going on with the hair there. I mean, it you know, it, I don't mind, but I did notice. And who am I? Oh, Thor. Yeah, Thor. They talked about Thor a little bit. But then they kind of segued into, like, you know, Black Panther and the newer Avengers who faded away into dust. I mean, I'm sure they're going to be in this movie, I think, but it's going to focus heavily on the original ones. And Ant-Man. Cool that Ant-Man's getting some love. Ant-Man movies don't really make as much money as the others, but I think the character's cool. And I think him being a part of the main Avengers team is awesome. And, you know, Paul Rudd deserves it. He's worked it. He's earned his way into the main team. And, you know, they all got some cool powers. I mean, new outfits new Avengers squad outfits like the X-Men you know the X-Men in the comics they would have like there are times when the X-Men would have individual outfits but there were times when they would all have like variations in the same uniform like kind of a paramilitary thing but it looks like the Avengers are going to have their space uniforms all you coordinated and then and they're with Nebula and Rhodey right where Nebula and Rod Nebula and Rhodey were there too so I guess Nebula is going to join up with the Avengers to try to get some revenge on Thanos her evil evil daddy or granddaddy, or whatever his relationship is to her. No, it's dad. He was like a dad who was horrible to his daughter, his children. Um, but yeah, interesting stuff. I mean, Avengers Endgame is going to be really epic. And I honestly think that Avengers Endgame is the reason Captain Marvel is making as much money as it is. Because they want to see how it connects and how she's going to introduce, be introduced and stuff. Because Captain Marvel on its own, to me, is not that great of a movie. <laughs> and I think that if it had to stand on its own two feet, it would not be like probably going to make a billion dollars but that's another video but anyways there we have it thank you for watching if you like this video please like it on youtube and subscribe to the channel because i appreciate your viewership and i'll talk to you soon bye